three, two, one. And here we go, three, two, one, slasher, take us away. Uh, DeHang with the red, Rafa with the mega. Uh, seems like Rafa's gonna go for the rocket launcher and then for the yellow, DeHang is gonna go for the lightning gun and go back up to rockets and uh, Rafa's gonna see him do that and get a little bit of MG damage while DeHang's actually gonna get a little nice uh, LG damage himself. Uh, but they're gonna keep trading off. Looks like Rafa won the better of that and gonna Ooh. rocket jump up to the top, cutting off DeHang. So he can get that red armor. DeHang was not expecting that. It's gonna make it very difficult now for DeHang to get that mega. Uh, he's gonna be able to pick up this yellow, but probably won't have enough health uh, to fight for this mega. And Rafa actually got rocket jumps up again to that middle platform, takes down DeHang for <laughs> that first frag, uh, and grabs that mega going into this red. That was pretty. Uh, that was pretty amazing by Rafa. You know, basically his intention there was to cut off the path of DeHang. He took a really, really big risk in doing so, but it certainly paid off for him big time because not only did he get that first frag, but he also was able to steal that red armor. However, he's got to be careful. That was only the first minute of the game on DM6, and you've got to pace yourself a little bit. Both those guys were uh, really committed to fighting, and maybe they got out those jitters from the first game slasher, but you know, as we saw, they had a really heavy lightning gun battle on, in the middle area uh, that almost determined the first frag. So Rafa is just looking to hold on to some level of control. Right now, we've got about a seven or eight second difference between the red armor and the mega, and that could potentially open up the opportunity for Rafa or DeHang to snag both of those. And right now, based off of where DeHang is, I think that he could possibly pull it off. There it goes, he's gonna beeline it right on over. Rafa's gonna drop in, he gets the position. Great rockets from Rafa, but the mega health couldn't have come at a perfect time and only LG separates these two, and they kill oh. each other and equalize things, and this will be big on the weapon pickup. Yeah, Rafa with a great spawn right in the middle, picks up both the rocket launcher and that LG. Uh, he's gonna have position on this red. <laughs> DeHang got that yellow. We'll see if maybe DeHang tries to go for this rail uh, while Rafa is down below. It seems like he won't, and try to get, gonna get the jump on Rafa. Rafa with a perfect rocket, just as DeHang jumps down. Gonna have an LG fight, Rafa down the one. Health and, and to hang down to 11. The hang is gonna pick up this mega though. Uh, does hit a rocket on the rocket. He's probably gonna rush for this red armor and he will. He's actually gonna pick up the frag first. And I think because he went to the yellow, he actually forced Rafa to spawn, spawn towards red. Uh, so Rafa able to pick up the red off the spawn. Uh, two to two now is the score as we have another close one, another nail biter here, uh, this time on DM6. So far, a lot of action once again. Rafa's gonna drop down with that LG and easily get the frag. And unfortunately, does he, well, he knows the mega time, so he's just gonna try to hold him off from mega. See if he can get a conversion frag, he can. However, he will be able to fall back to that red. He's gonna make a ver another risky rocket jump up to top to try to hold on to that position and see if he could steal away this yellow as well, which he does very successfully. DeHang was waiting for him down below, but he didn't really have the weapon set to be able to do any damage if he did decide to go for it. So six minutes, 36 seconds on the clock. And right now, Rafa taking a narrow lead after a tie game here in our grand final between Rafa and DeHang. Yeah, Rafa doing a really nice job uh, on the positioning of these items. Well, and he actually is going to take the frag uh, right to the hang, right before that mega spawn. That's going to give uh, Rafa a big advantage to hang, not having a great spawn there. Uh, spawning up on that bridge, you're going to have to drop below uh, to pick up that LG, which Rafa just took before. Rafa's going to have position on this next red. Uh, gonna get that easily, but sees the hang trying to go out wow. and jumps right off of the pad with an amazing rail onto the hang. So the hang's gonna be pretty weak. He's only gonna have that uh, yellow as uh, Rafa is gonna have control of the mega and red. Uh, going to this next fight. As we get closer and closer to that five minute mark, the one thing DeHang's gonna wanna watch out for is, I mean, obviously he doesn't wanna give up any frags, but this two frag lead, I feel is is an okay place to be. You know, hold on, we got it. Oh, that's, the, that's where I was looking for DeHang not to go. He's now looking at five to two uh, with a three frag lead, and Rafa has has explicit control over the power ups right here. The thing I was about to say, Slasher, is that that four two lead. You know, you look at that and you're like, okay, sweet, I can get a couple back. And a sneak attack here on DeHang oh, to make wow. it six to two. 
and suddenly the aim doesn't even matter because Rafa is just sort of outclassing his opponent from a strategy point of view. And um, this is exactly what Dehang didn't want to have happen. I, I was expecting if it was going to happen, maybe closer to two minutes, three minutes. But now, uh, I mean, I guess better now than then because Dehang can bring this back. It's just going to be a lot tougher to do.